welcome back to my channel Deconstruct. My name is Charlotte and I do DIY and sewing videos. Today we're going to be creating a pair of pants. I have never sewn a pair of pants. This is my first pair of pants which is really exciting and I did put up a poll on my YouTube community post asking you guys if you wanted the Saks Pots Sparkle Pants or the IMG Halo Pants. Clearly the IMG Halo Pants won and I ended up recreating those so that's what we'll be doing in today's video. But before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Vitaly. They sent over these gorgeous pieces. I am obsessed. They're located in Toronto and I'll have a discount code down below in the description box if you're interested in any of the pieces. But I'll be talking about them a little bit more towards the end of the video when you can see it all styled together with the full set. But if you guys are interested in recreating the halo pants and also the matching top, then please keep on watching. We are making pants today. I am so nervous and scared, but I feel like this is a mountain I must climb. I don't know anything about tailoring and my stitch quality is probably not up to par as I am mostly self-taught, so this should be interesting, but I feel like the halo pants are a good entryway to the world of pants, considering they are like stretchy yoga pants-esque, so I feel like it'll be a little bit more forgiving. Fingers crossed this goes well. I already drafted up a pattern right here. Uh, and funny enough, I didn't actually have yoga pants to pattern trace from, but I used a pair of jeans, as you can see in the next clip. I did add extra length to the top and the bottom, and then we'll like trim away as we need, but hopefully these fit. So for the halo pants, I'm using a stretchy knit fabric. I got this fabric for so cheap. It was $4 a meter on sale. I bought four meters. Do I need four meters? No, but you can never have enough black fabric in my mind. And this is like a medium thickness, I would say. It just feels like athletic knit. It's a four way stretch, super stretchy. Um, hopefully decently forgiving and this is definitely a project a surgery is going to help you out with. If you don't have a surgeon, I recommend a zigzag stitch. I'm going to cut out my fabric and check back in with you guys in a minute. pieces are all cut out I'm just gonna be sewing up this front side seam and the back side seam now that you've sewn up your back and front seams what you're gonna want to do is align those seams up so then you can sew the leg seams are ready for a quick fit check they look a little small and like this is so high i don't need it that high definitely going to be trimming the waist a bit let's see how they fit i'm going to put these on real quick and then we'll be right back and we're back this is what they look like right now They're this length right now. They're looking good. I'm wondering if I want them a bit looser at the knees. So right now they're still kind of tight. For my first pair of Vans ever, it's pretty good. Just like the waist is a little big, especially in the back right here. I think as a next step, I'm gonna be trimming the waistband a bit. About an inch and a half, like right at my belly button, I'm thinking. And then that way when you ruche it, 
still has room to go down like so but it's still kind of like higher on the hips so it looks a bit nicer i think we're almost done this is the quickest tutorial ever um maybe i'll just whip up the top to match as a little bonus thing for this uh yeah while trying on the pants earlier i noticed that the waist would slide down a bit um, and the material would bunch so in order to get a better fit what i'm going to do is add some elastic to the inside of the waistband you're not going to see this but it'll help you keep your pants up and fitted so you look super snatched at the waist all i'm going to do is take a piece of this and measure it to my waist slash hip measurement like a little bit tighter than that it'll help your pants not fall down and not give you that saggy bum or saggy crotch look which no one likes so this is going to be a little added thing that i put in not sure if the real pants have this but i am going to do it because i think it'll look better <laughs> to sew the elastic to the top of the pant you will want to overlap the bottom edge of your elastic over the top edge of the pant on the good side or the outside of your pants so that the elastic will flip inwards when worn and there will be no visible stitching on the waistband. If this is a little bit confusing, I'll include a diagram in my blog post so you guys can see a better example. And while sewing the elastic, stretch the waistband slightly so that the fabric is distributed evenly along with a zigzag stitch. Next, you will want to hem the bottom of your pants by folding the bottom in about half an inch and sewing a straight stitch to secure. You can also use a twin needle to do this for a more polished finish. Okay, the pants are done. The elastic is in the waist here. I just stitched it in the ditch of the front and back seam so that the elastic folds inwards when you're wearing it. And I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I already marked a white chalk mark right here for how low I want the V to go for like the ruching part. And I just finished turning my two straps. They're probably way too long, but better long than short. I just took one inch pieces, folded them in half, ran them through the serger, and then just spent forever flipping them inside out but finally it's done and we just gotta add this onto our pants i'm probably going to make the matching top to go with it but probably another day it's like 7 p.m already and i'm basically done for sewing today my back's killing me um yeah so let's add our straps to the front of our pants and then we'll do a final try on of the pants so this is the front of the pant and you just want to mark how far you want the ruching to go down so i did about four inches four and a half and i'm just going to take a scrap piece of fabric to line the inside for the channels and what you'll want to do is stitch right into the seam or stitch the ditch as it's called in the front you want to stitch two additional rows on either side so it forms the channels um, i have another video on how to like ruche a t-shirt which is also really great to follow along um, if you're a little bit confused about this part so that's what we're gonna do and then you'll be slipping the straps in to those channels so i'm just folding in the top edge of the piece inside we'll be trimming off the excess later just for a clean finish Taking a safety pin, you will feed the strings into the channels that you made, securing the ends at the bottom and making sure to backstitch for added security. So 
so I was too impatient. I wanted to try them on. Here's a quick try on. There's still some threads loose here and there that I need to like trim off and stuff, but how cute, right? I made a pair of pants. I don't know how I made a pair of pants. Never thought I'd say that. They're really cute. I'm actually pretty happy with how these turned out. I didn't end up redoing like the pants section because um, I went back and looked at the photos and they were pretty much straight leg anyways. They're not exact to the original Halo because I didn't do the butt scrunch. I feel like the front scrunch is enough. So I got to run, but I'll show you guys some styled footage in a little bit. Welcome back to the sewing room. We finished the Halo pants yesterday and today I thought I would do the matching Halo top because like a matching set right now sounds wonderful. I am obsessed with matching sets. So for the Halo top, there are two ways you could do it. I'm gonna be making mine from scratch, but you can definitely just thrift flip or flip something in your closet already. Like everybody has a spaghetti strap tank top, which you can easily transform into the Halo top. Like it's so easy. I'll leave instructions on how to thrift flip one in my blog post. So you can follow that, it's super easy, but basically you cut off the straps put the ruching in the middle of the front and wear it as a halter top. Like that's literally it. It's so easy. Um, but I'll show you guys how I'm gonna make it today from scratch, um, from the same material as the pants, so it matches perfectly. Okay, let's get started. This is the tank top I'm gonna be using as my base. It's just a V-neck tank. That's what we're gonna base the top off of. You can definitely make it a deeper V if you'd like. I may lower it just a little bit, but we're just gonna be using this tank top as our base for our top. These are the three pieces that you'll need. You'll have two front pieces and a back piece. So first things first, we're gonna do the middle seam of the front and create the channels. So with the good side spacing, you're just gonna sew down the center of the top. To create the channels, you'll want to sew an additional row on either side of the middle seam using the seam allowance as the channel backing. This is what the stitching should look like on the front, three parallel lines going down the center of the top. Next, you'll want to attach the back piece with the good sides facing, sew up the side seams. I'll be using a searcher for this step. So I had a bit of this strap left over from my pants yesterday, I just trimmed off a section. These are about 18 inches in length and I'm just gonna insert them into the base of the top. So now that they're inserted, I'm just gonna stitch on the base right here to secure them down on the bottom. So now that our top is done and our strings are in, what we're gonna wanna do is finish off all the raw edges on the top. And what I'm gonna be using is actually the same elastic. This is just fold over elastic, which is really good for binding your edges um, because you can just fold it straight in half and get a super clean edge. Uh, you can also, if you don't have elastic, you can also cut out strips from your fabric to do it, but I'm feeling a bit lazy. I'm gonna use my elastic because it'll be faster. And um, that's how I'll be finishing off the edges. You basically just take it and sandwich your edge right in between like so. And then I'm gonna be using either a zigzag stitch or you can use a twin needle to get that like professional feel. 
I'm gonna try it with a twin needle and see if it'll work. I ended up using a twin needle to sew on the fold over elastic. And as you can see, I did one long piece along the outside V and the back portion of the top. The top hasn't lost any of its elasticity with this method. Next, we will be adding the fold over elastic to the inner V neckline and extending the elastic into the straps to form the halter ties. The last step for the top is to hem the bottom edge. I'll be using my twin needle, but you can also use a simple zigzag stitch for this step as well. And that's the final top to go with your matching pants. Let's see the full outfit. Smoke them up and leave them, changing with the seasons But you know that shit ain't my style I just want the OG, it's always been it for me Yeah, you saw me when nobody would And he loved me good, through the bad and the ugly He never got a knock on wood, tell him baby don't worry that is the IMG Halo set. It's super cute. I love it as a matching set. If anything, I think I could have made the pants a little bit wider. They're like a little bit tight on the calves, but that's an easy fix. I can definitely make another pair, but together as a set with this jewelry is so cute. I can't get over how amazing this jewelry looks with this set. Thank you again to Vitaly for sending over these gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. They look absolutely stunning with the set and also with a lot of other pieces in my wardrobe. I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of it. In fact, I've been wearing this lock necklace and the beam smiley face ring nonstop since I've gotten them a few weeks ago. So thank you for those. Um, if you guys would also like to own a few Vitaly pieces, there is a discount code in the description box below. Please use that link. I don't get a commission on it, but you guys do get 20% off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and down below and join the DIY family. If you end up recreating any of my DIYs, please use the hashtag deconstruct and tag me in it so I can find all your lovely recreations. All my socials are down below in the description box as well. And I'll see you guys next time in another video. Bye!